Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's the first daily in a couple of days. I was away uh, doing a game preview for something that is really cool, and I'll talk about it next week. But uh, I missed a few dailies uh, for the first time since the release of Afterbirth, which is... It is weird for me. Let's look at today's daily first. Okay, a couple of deaths. But there were still decent rankings considering they were deaths, so maybe a tough daily today. Looks like yesterday, a uh, Judas Darkroom run. Mathis did all right, I guess. And then Thursdays, that is a very, very short daily. It's Maggie to Mom. Congrats to Bear Taffy. But let's be honest, it looks like. Uh, Nobody really killed it while I was gone. Let's see if we can change that today. I'm not trying to be like the, you know, 50 cent of the Isaac Daily game. I'm just saying, well, there's our seat. Our seat is that it's the, uh, Saturday, December 12th. December 12th? No, December 5th. Which is weird, because in my head I was like, it's 12-12, but it's not 12-12, but next week is 12-12. How strange is that? Um, I may be a little bit out of practice here, both in terms of my commentary. As you might guess from that 12-12 rant. Uh, you know what, let's go to our curse room right now. Might as well get it out of the way, save ourselves a little bit of time, but yeah. Oh, shit! Thank God, those are not actually as bad as I thought they would be. That's still pretty terrible, though. Okay, bad start. Um... <laughs> what I was hoping, of course, was that I would use the, uh... The bomb that got created to get the uh, stone chest, but instead we put ourselves like super in trouble early here But yeah, not just in terms of uh, my own Isaac play I expect to be a little out of practice, but also in terms of my uh, my commentary I've been having two-sided conversations or oh thank god like four-sided conversations For like two days, you know, I haven't had a one-sided conversation where it's just me talking in quite some time So uh, you know, it's it's like a muscle that you, you know gets out of practice pretty soon But I think we're doing okay to start with here more concerned about the fact that, you know, we like almost died on that curse room. You might be wondering, why didn't you take the pill inside of the curse room and then like walk out with it? Uh, if it was good, maybe you could have gotten a second pill that was good instead of just one. But um, my concern was, as this happened, not that many times, but enough to, you know, annoy me. You know, you go into like a curse room as Kane, take half a heart of damage. Uh, nothing in there, okay. Take half a heart of damage. Uh, take a pill, the pill ends up being bad trip, you try to walk out of the room, you're dead. So I was hoping that, uh, you know, I was insulating us from that just in case it was gonna happen. Truth be told, this daily is actually fine thus far. I mean, this run is not amazing, but two, two spirit hearts is exactly where I expected to be. Now three, now four. Um, but two is exactly where I expected to be when I left the curse room. So, even though I feel pretty stupid about the fact that I actually got hit by that bomb in there, Life goes on, you know? We, we have four spirit arts, that's enough to do what we want to do on this floor, which is of course give ourselves a crack at the deal with the devil. This one only goes to mom, which means that 100% we have to do boss rush. And if we can get like a shovel or something like that, we have to give that a chance as well. Otherwise, you know, it's going to be very hard for us to find opportunities to, to steal points where other players might not have found them. Not to say that I'm some kind of like daily master or anything like that, just like you gotta, you gotta try to eke out the... Uh, I'm gonna leave that battery charge in case we get like a good book, like Revelations or something, but um, you know, we gotta we gotta find a way to eke out points that other people might not consider. That one daily where I was like uh, 46th or something like that, pretty much, I didn't play that well. I mean, I played well by my own standards, but by objective standards, not that amazingly, but you know, I, I took the shovel from the deal with the devil where I'm sure a lot of people were just like, oh, you know, Gimpy's better than the shovel. And that's the appropriate course of action, but it let us get a, an extra floor out of the run and basically guaranteed me a good ranking for not actually having skill but rather foresight so that's that's kind of something that can I walked on the fucking creep uh, that's kind of something that can be rewarded on runs like this so uh, we we really need to be careful now as much as I've been talking about how oh like things look fine uh, and they do oh my god these clutch spirit hearts like exactly when I need them I was just about to say it, we need to be careful because if we take a deal with the devil here we're only gonna be at a half heart and that's that's really bad. In fact, probably without that spirit heart, we would not have even been at a half heart because we're liable to get hit once, maybe even twice on the haunt fight here. I think that's relatively realistic. But it is the regular version of the haunt, and we've been honing our trade in the, the fires of Mordor, you know? The, the shitty haunts that fire like those 45 degree angle brimstones and spit out spiders that take forever to kill and stuff like that so you know it's not my first rodeo here against default haunt obviously 
Little Gish has done some, some decent work for us here in the early game. Always try to practice good habits. You know, attack from the safest point you possibly can. And the safest point is always, like, directly after he attacks. We're not going to get hit, it looks like. Awesome! Matchbook is basically just a better HP upgrade if you're playing as Blue Baby. And then in here, we'll get Contract from below. And we'll walk out. Mostly Contract from below is for precedent at this point. Um, but I'm happy to have it regardless. Extra consumables could really help me out as well. Now that's enough money to... Well, it's not, but it's almost enough money to possibly get something good from our shop. But we need a way to get into our shop first. We don't have a key. And I'm, I'm very wary about taking too long right now because we don't... Uh... Oh, that was so dumb. But also, we got through the room really quickly. <laughs> uh, we don't have any keys. Oh, petrified poop. So huge. Okay, well now we're going to take our every opportunity to shoot this. I was going to say, like, we have to try to give ourselves the best chance of boss rush because it's the most guaranteed point bonus we can get. Uh, very true. Nothing wrong with that uh, expression at all. Oh, please be a key. More spirit arts is great, but a key is so much more valuable. This is, like, the one time I'll ever have that kind of, like, value proposition there. But um, this is so good now. We're not going to sweat taking time as long as we think we can get to boss rush. Because, you know, these pennies, a lot of people probably will not shoot the poops in these rooms. Now, we gotta manage it properly, but still. Uh, holy water, obviously not worth it. Uh, little chest is like debatable. Dry baby. Dry baby's good enough, I think. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my own rule about going as fast as we need to go by coming in here. Hoping for another key. It's, it's a completely worthless room, but there's only, uh... There's only two bosses. One of them is going to be Pin, I think, which is not that bad. We're going to be out of here by like 6... Yeah, it's Pin. We're going to be out of here by like 6.30, which is slow, and we haven't really gotten much to speed ourselves up. Like, we're not slow, but we have Brimstone or something like that. It's just like, it's a little slow right now, but we've done a good job of, of setting ourselves up relatively well for the future. Obviously, there's some dumb damage I wish I could take back. But uh, especially from a score standpoint, this petrified poop pickup is really nice. Um, we probably have a chance at a second secret room right here. Still would love a key to go to our shop. Uh, oh, we got several keys. Okay. Money. Oh, God, I used both keys. I was like, we have unlimited keys. Well, luckily, we actually do. Um, thanks to this room, and Steven hooked us. Or we got hooked up with Steven there. And a lot of consumables again, 25 cents, so we're going to be very slow here, but this would be a good opportunity, even though we have petrified poop, man, if we can get like blue candle or something, I would be loving it. Ooh, wooden nickel, I don't think is worth it, but the spirit heart is like a no-brainer. Alright, it's seven minutes, let's get out of here. We may have to compromise and, and skip a couple of rooms on the next floor because we've taken a little too long on this one, but the we made good decisions. Let's We went down the flowchart properly, we're eking out every available advantage we can possibly get. Curse of the Blind is, well, not maybe every conceivable advantage, because if you rerolled past Dry Baby, maybe you could have gotten something killer, but uh, I'm, I'm still relatively pleased with the way this went down, and of course, man, I tricked myself into thinking there was a tractor beam in there. Uh, of course, I'm stoked to uh, have gotten Steven from our second secret room. That's like a really amazing haul. Emperor card is hugely important. We will buy this, and we'll try it. Black Candle. It's huge. Okay. Well worth it. Um, the Emperor card is really important for us because it could allow us to uh, guarantee us a chance at boss rush. We need to have the HP necessary to survive boss rush, but it could allow us uh, almost a guarantee there. I didn't even see that Tinted Rock. Now I want Spirit Hearts. Spirit Heart and one bomb is an okay payout. Let's see what we got going on in here. Pestilence on a tiny room. But it's always like, is it always champion pestilence on this room, or is that just like my experience is a little bit disproportionate there? Because I really seem to be fighting the pestilences that don't shoot bombs, which is awesome for me. We can't afford to take a deal here. It's got to be at least decent. We can't just take a shit deal. We don't have the HP necessary to go for it. Oh, maybe we do now, as a result of all of that. And it's a Krampus fight. I don't mind it. Lump of coal. Uh, you know, I, I would take either of them. At this point, it would suck to lose a uh, petrified poop, but I think it's worth it for the. Uh, I'm gonna get hit. Yep. Yeah. I think it's worth it for the damage upgrade. And uh, not damage upgrade, but like the ability to kill bosses insanely quickly. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Okay, I'm gonna pop that because we can. And you are going to be 
dead in one hit if I could actually land it, and we get Krampus' head, which I'm gonna take. Okay. Shoot this. Little, I mean, we don't really need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because we have a little time. Okay. So we'll take Krampus' head. Um, mostly, I love the idea of having this, <clears throat> pardon me, for boss rush. Boss rush is going to uh, give us two charges per room. Would be advantageous to use this as often as possible. I do want to use Krampus' head on other rooms as well, but I want to wait and see if maybe there's big rooms available. And I think we can get out of here conceivably around 10 minutes, depending on our perspective. Quad shot is so good. Okay, that is a big pickup. And get a world card. Yeah, tells me what I already knew, because I already put a bomb down there, but that's okay. 10 bombs. We're a little light on money. Might want to blow this guy up. He's got... Uh, the sun in her eyes and she's gone. Um, let's go check out this dice room up here because I will never learn. Spend two keys. It is a five room. Oh my god. Okay, yes, we will do this. We're gonna do it immediately. So we're gonna walk in here. We're way behind schedule now. Here's what we do. We find our item room as soon as possible. And it, it really does need to be our item room. I know we could use bombs there. Okay, then we use our emperor card. And we're not, like, ahead of schedule, but we're not enough behind schedule to be mad about our situation, I think. Come in here as a prayer card. Was it worth it? Mm, probably not, but let's see what we get on our, uh, on our boss fight. Dark one is gonna be dead, like, almost immediately. No deal with the devil, but latch key. And you know what? I think this was, like, a good compromise. I gotta do one more room, and I regret it, but I thought maybe the second secret room might be here. And our second secret room, uh rooms, I guess, have been pretty good for us so far, so thought it was worth a shot. Okay, so we're like 13 seconds behind schedule. I, I still think it was worth it, but it was a little weird. Flooded Caves 2. So this one, you know, we no longer have an Emperor card. To the best of my knowledge, there is no way around that. Watch out for that. Um, so we're going to be a little bit cautious about timing. Timing is something that we really need to... Make sure we nail here, as I as I say, like, relentlessly as we play. It is very important. Justice card, two justice cards. Two black cards, well worth it. I think, um, I mean, I say this a lot to the point where it's almost becoming like a joke, but I think we've set ourselves up pretty nicely on this daily. We, uh, almost died on the first curse room, but after that point, it, it's been, like, going pretty well, honestly. The quad shot pickup is great. I don't know if we only got quad shot because we re-rolled as far as we did to get to, uh, Dry Baby, which was only, like, five or six cents to turn, uh, Holy Water into Dry Baby. That's a really decent trade, in my opinion, considering one is useless and the other one is actually, like, pretty solid. Um, you're still up here, huh? Well, you have dictated, then, that I will go in this direction. Okay, I would still like to go to every other room available here, and I am an idiot and should have gotten a battery charge. But, Dry Baby's gonna help on crowd control, and then, this old song and dance on Gertie here. You know, this isn't my first Gertie rodeo. When do we want to be out of here by? About 13 minutes to, to be safe? Blue Camp is fine. HP is like amazing right now, which is actually what we need in order to make sure that we're gonna be uh, good on boss rush. We need, well, obviously you need damage as well, but HP's up there, man. And you know what's kind of an unsung hero for us so far, in my opinion at least, is uh, Steven. Like, Steven is holding it down for us. If we didn't have this extra damage upgrade, we might be in a little bit of a rougher spot. Probably not like too bad, but it's possible it would be worse than I give it credit for. We'll take Chaos just to, just to mess with it. And we'll take that, and it's a Joker card. We'll use that immediately. We got Ceremonial Robes. That's beautiful. Basically break even on that. And we could leave, but I'm not gonna just yet because we're actually way ahead of schedule now. Instead, we can do something like that and see what we get here. Was it worth it? Yes, because then I'll pop this and I'll say, oh, okay, there's interesting stuff going on over here. For some reason, I thought this room had, like, a wall master that came down, but apparently not. More keys. This will be a double key room down here, so... I expect to lose consumables there. I do want to do the boss trap room, honestly. Even though it's going to cost us some time, I want to do the boss trap room because it's going to give us, uh... It's going to give us a big point bonus. And we have, uh, Krampus' head, like, battery charges we can pick up. I think I'm just going to go for it, though. 
Cricket's head would be a dope pickup. And we got a Spirit Heart. Okay, this is like the the Nightmare... Um, oh my god. It's not only the Nightmare Champion Mega Fatty, but it's like the Nightmare Boss Rush to begin with. Or Boss Trap Room, because this is this guy, followed by Champion Mega Fatty. So we might be, again, a little bit behind schedule. I mean, at this point, I think it's probably pretty clear. If we miss Boss Rush, it's like 180% my own... It's 1080% snowboarding my own problem. Because I had like multiple Emperor cards, an obvious ability to finish this run in time, and just instead was like, well, let's try to eke out like a little bit more. Let's just try to get a just a little bit more though. Could we get a little bit more? I'm even gonna, yeah, I figured we'd do one extra room just in case there was something of value. There wasn't really. Let's pick this up and head down. Uh, did I even, I don't even think I went to the secret room. It doesn't matter. We've got to, because of my own idiocy, but also the decisions that I've made that may not be idiotic, but rather just, you know, suboptimal for our current situation. We have to speed it up a little bit. This would be a great opportunity to get a guppy item. Okay, instead we got paralysis and a health upgrade, which is actually awesome. Uh, those are good chests, so I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna possibly regret it, but not right now. Okay. 48 hour energy. That is a surprisingly great pickup right now. Another 48 hour energy. Um, oh, I almost got teleported out of the room. One more? One more. No, no more. Okay. So, again, faster. <laughs> like, a lot faster, please. Self. I know you think this is a nice, like, like your subconscious thinks this is a nice, like, leisurely uh, Isaac run. That's not really the situation we find ourselves in right now. I'd like to be out of this floor within the next minute and a half. And if we can't make that happen, I mean, it's like I always say, you can afford to have, like, a little bit of a... Uh, you can, you can be behind your splits in the early game as long as you have the opportunity to make it up later. Uh, but once you get into the later game, it's like, you know, if you're 15 seconds a kilometer behind someone in terms of their pace, might not be a big deal through the first few kilometers of the race, but eventually, you know, you're two minutes behind with one kilometer to run. You're probably not running like a three-minute kilo there at the end to make it happen. Because that would be like the fastest kilometer in, in human history or something. You know, we use kilometers, okay? Get over it. Life goes on. I know there's a chest back there. Um, I'm gonna say fuck that chest. I will probably get those two, though. Because they're closer. And we're not, like, in do or die time yet. If we hit, like, 18 minutes on this floor, then things are gonna get real annoying. We're gonna have to be uh, much better than I've been. But if we're only, if we're at, like, 17... You're not dead yet? There's, oh no, you're dead. If you get like 17, that's not so bad. Obviously like 1630 is fine. Oh my god, it's a cricket's head pickup. Just checking. Emperor card could be valuable. I, I really want to make sure that we're, we're flying as close to the sun as we can without getting burned here, you know? Because this is such a short run. Like the shorter the... Oh yeah. The shorter the run, the more valuable or the more important I think min-maxing is. So head of the keeper is a, a really nice pickup for us. We should be one-shotting... Wow, bad damage. Should be one-shotting basically everything. He says as he takes like six shots to kill each of those guys. That's all right. Life goes on. Probably the right way here. Uh, and one more room will give us a... Ooh, dice. Dice shard. Not dice shard. It's weird, like crinkle dice. I'm sticking with the poop just because I know its effect better. And this is exactly what I was hoping for. And he's dead. We get a cube of meat. Second level cube of meat into a deal with the devil where we get two black cards. Decent, not incredible, but decent. Now, where we're really going to suffer on this run, if we do boss rush and get that done, and, you know, you'd think that we have a decent score, where we're going to maybe fall behind is on the damage penalty. I have taken some shit damage on this run. Not an outrageous amount after, the like, the first stage of the game. The, I mean, the, obviously, that first curse room is just, like, catastrophically bad at the time, but uh, I, I think we've done fairly well since that point. It's one of those situations where, like, I'd really like to do this boss trap room, but I just can't justify it yet. If I find the boss room itself early, it might be, what's in here? What's in here? Just one golden chest. Oh, I'm going to say no for now, but maybe later. I'm not, oh my god, I just wanted one more room to get a Krampus's head charge for this big room. Um, we should not have any problems on the mom fight. Like, oh, that was actually a really easy big room. The mom fight is, like, it can be annoying if it's, like, red mom or something like that. It doesn't even matter, I think, if we have Krampus' head, though, because we have, um, 
second level Meat Boy. Or it doesn't even matter if it's second level. It could just be first level. But uh, as long as you have that orbital, you're going to do fine. Regular Mom would be ideal because she spends a little bit more time, you know, down on the grounds. But uh, I'll take what I can get. Um... I mean, sure, we'll take Goathead. I mean, Guardian Spear could be cool, but we'll start with Goathead just because we know that, like, we can take it and, and get some benefit out of it. Guardian Spear against Mom, especially if it's Red Mom, can be, like, fucking annoying, man. Cursed Eye. Man, I would really like to not take this. <laughs> so I think I'm not going to take it because teleporting out of Boss Rush would just be a fucking disaster. Um, okay, we've been to our shop. We've been to all that. Let's do the boss trap room and then get a move on. And I really like, we're going to be fighting two bosses. That's not so bad. I think we can get the point bonus out of that. Still be able to kill mom easily. If this fucks it up, I'll be real sad. And that is enough to buy guardian spear. What do you think? I mean, it would be novel, right? It would certainly be novel. Let's do it. Nobody else is going to do it. Let's do it. You can still shoot with guardian spear as well. So I'll take it. And even though it's going to totally fuck up our range and, and probably cost us to take a, a ton of damage on the boss rush, maybe we'll discover that like 1 in 100 synergy. It's not 1 in a million, let's not be outrageous. But we'll discover that 1 in 100 strategy that is like incredible or something. And maybe this will be good. Hey, it's not bad. Okay. So we can still shoot with Guardian Spear. Um, I don't know if it comes with a damage penalty or anything like that. I would assume the answer is probably. Otherwise, it seems like absurdly overpowered. We're already done with the mom fight. We'll take the Polaroid. We'll come in here. We got Fear Shot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that that's probably not what we want right now. Thanks a lot, Chaos. You fucked us. Uh, let's take our Penny. Come into Boss Rush. Boss Rush gives us Seraphim or Piercing Shots. Maybe we'll take Seraphim. I don't know, though. Speed Upgrade could be good. It, we're only doing it for one room. Let's be, like... It's not, it's not a normal room, but... It is still one room nonetheless. I'll take Seraphim. Appears to be shooting. I appreciate that. Hey, permanent Polaroid invincibility. I forgot about you. Now, we should remember we don't have to get close enough to use Guardian Spear. If we can, that's probably sweet, but we don't have to. If there's an enemy that we know is, like, not going to spawn creep ever... It's not as much of a problem. Mega Fatty's gonna be making some big big plays here. Okay, now we got permanent Polaroid invincibility, so we just get in there. Now we got Krampus' head. They're all dead. Now we pop the chariot card just to keep our momentum strong. Probably just kill Ragman. Um that was weird. I just like could not aim Guardian Spear. It, it was going haywire. Um well my momentum has been crushed, but still pretty pleased with the way things look right now. Okay. I mean, like I said, Guardian Spear, because of, you know, my own idiocy, is going to cost me to take a, a lot of damage that I otherwise wouldn't. But it is kind of fun to get to use this item because it only shows up, I think, on deal with the Angel Pools. So it, it's very unlikely for us to get it on an average run. I don't know what we've done here. I think we killed one enemy. And then we'll just try to... Man, we really should not stand super close to the Forsaken. <laughs> oh, no. I was like... I was running the math in my head. I'm like, the further we are away, the easier it is for us to dodge that uh, the brimstone attack that he does. There you go. Easy kill. Mask of Infamy. Uh, well, if we can kill the heart relatively easily, it should be okay. But no, this is the one time I want you to run towards me, you jerk. Oh, we don't have the charge yet. You may have heard me somewhat embarrassingly uh, press the space bar there. And L doesn't know where his charge is. Good stuff. Um, we have enough bombs that, yeah. Take out Carrying Queen as soon as possible so I don't have to deal with any red poop nonsense. Terrible damage. The terrible damage continues. But on the bright side, I think we're making pretty good time. And uh, Little Horn is already dead. I didn't really see the other scores from today, so I don't know... Uh, I don't know how this run looks from like a relative score standpoint. Like, a Luke, where are you at, man? You're, you're supposed to be my benchmark. It's like I'm Usain Bolt and you're, uh... Johan Blake? I was going for... it. I don't know why I'm making so many running uh, references here. I know, especially sprinting, I know nothing about. But uh, 
You know, we we gotta we gotta train one another. Only by the the sword of another, the blade of another knife can a truly sharp knife become sharper. Something like that. There's an expression in there, somewhere. No, Mega Mod. You don't get a chance to shoot on my watch. Okay. No sights. Scythe is a guy who thinks he's fly, uh, occasionally also known as a buster. Okay, honestly we got lucky not to get hit faster there. So I'm not really too bent out of shape. I think we're better off standing in the middle in case we get the rotation. Oh, we're already done. Okay, well, let's not take Mr. Boom because it sucks. And instead we'll pick up all the coins and this is like a super fast daily. Yeah, we're done. Do we get extra points? No, I thought maybe that would give us extra points. Let's leave. I think we could be top 500. Not a tough daily. Yeah, we're 345. Like a pretty big damage penalty I'm not super proud of. Um, a lot of people unknown. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but that's okay. Oh, now they're, there they are. Um, sorry, your boy Josh. I got you by 41 points. That'll teach you to play a blood bank once. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. I appreciate your support on the series. And of course, uh, if you enjoy these Isaac episodes, subscribe to see more in the future very easily. For now, thanks for watching. I'll be back with more Isaac and more dailies later. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.